Lucas Media. Don't forget to like button, subscribe. Hall of Famer Andre Ward recently spoke about Shakur Stevenson uh, previous fight. And according to boxing scene, this is what he said. He got a belt. He got his check. It's a good day. Now, Andre Ward said this despite Stevenson's snooze fest. Again, some people called it the most boring fight ever. And Andre Ward is basically saying he didn't have a bad day. So let me unpack that. Well, I believe Andre Shakur Stevenson is managed by Andre Ward, or I know they both were managed by Jay Prince. So, of course, he's going to have a little bit of say-so. And, yes, everybody is happy that Shakur was able to go home with his family and live to fight another day. And he did come with the victory. However, because of, it was so boring and it seemed like neither one of them take any chances, that's why the fans was mad. On top of the fight happening on a Thursday night, don't let me forget that at midnight on the east coast so people are already tired and the least we could see is a knockout something a stoppage a style dominating but it just seemed like neither one of them was really taking chances Shakur Stevenson even said that his opponent was scary too which he shouldn't have said that and he built his he built a lot of his following after Devin Haney now, Shakur was an Olympic silver medalist. However, the him fighting or chasing after Devin Haney's whole career, jumping in the ring with him, telling him to sign a contract. Devin Haney makes an offer. He turns it down. And Shakur can't even do an interview without them talking about Devin Haney the majority of the time. For you to do that, come on there and put on a snooze fest. You know, that's where the 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 fallout comes from. So, I mean, I, I get Andre Ward's point of view, but he does have somewhat of an investment in this. And it's okay that Shakur had a down, a bad night, should I say. But, but when he went trolling Devin Haney and he made it, jumped in the ring with Lomachenko and said that he won. Lomachenko shut out Devin Haney and... Made it seem like he would have a better performance. You put him a snooze fest, you're going to get criticized for it. And, you know, we just got to see where Shakur goes. Some people call him a hype job. I, I'm not going to say that yet. But I do want to see him fight more competition at 135 and at least go to Unify. But that's just my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?